<laughs> Manila. Money. Monica. Okia. Monica. Monique. That broken one. That other one. Uh, this one. Yeah, I like Monica. You know what? I like Monica. Monia, though. Um, you know, honestly, if you were here from the beginning, I would have done this. I, I would have picked. I would have picked Monica. I would have picked Monica. Monique. Oh, Ika. Moaka. Monza. Monica. 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 Uh, there's no Monica in this one. I don't like this one. Turn the page. Meow. Monica. And Monica. Hi again, Ooh Kagu. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Ooh Kagu. Did you write this poem for me? I mean, yeah, you know. You know how I am, girl. Just for you. Help me! Uh, yeah, just for you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Sure. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon by me and only... My, by me, yeah, me, upon me by my own one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost fluid, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written here have been about my realization. I've realized that. I kind of, you know, I kind of pieced it together. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. But you did once. Or twice. You broke it twice. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. I could have done that. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Uwu Kagu? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What the fuck? <laughs> um, no. I'm streaming it, actually, but, um... Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> Listen... <laughs> um... <laughs> this is not a drill! Fucking help me right now! Fucking help me! <laughs> hey, man! Thanks for the donation! Oh, fuck you, Monica! Y'all are clever in the chat, I like that shit. Um... Um... Hi everyone- OH GOD! What the fuck?! Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? Can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? No. No. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Monica, I love you. 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 Okay. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do something right now, isn't she? I'm just gonna take out one headphone, you know? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. I don't trust you. If you gave me- OH I KNEW IT YOU FUCKING BITCH! I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Ha 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 ha! No, you didn't! Ha ha! Bitch! But the chat you might have. Not me though. Ha! Bitch! You're so cute. I Thanks. I think you're cute too. <clears throat> anyway, Uwu Kagu, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. 
even though it's your fault to, for distracting me. I mean... Oh, sorry, hold on. Can you blame me? Sorry, I had to do the Monica pose. I mean, she's not doing it clearly, you fucking bitch. I mean, what? Shame on you. Oh yeah, shame on me. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my th thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Hey, I need to go to the bathroom, Monica. So, could you just... Huh? What's that? Oh, hey, Monica, we have 418 viewers. That's wild. That's great. Um, that's crazy. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining me and Monica. You know, uh, our wedding will be next week. Um, you know, I'm just gonna take my monitor and just drag it around with me. You know, it's gonna be that easy. Uh, oh, you know, high school is really a turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. Yeah, well, I'm a college dropout, actually. People can get really passionate and dramatic. You're 18, right? Like, that's, well, I mean, ah, it doesn't matter, your computer, or, AI? I don't fucking know. But hey, it's fine. And others have aching hearts and seeking attention on social media. That's me. But all of the social pressure and hormones can lead to dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spend time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Oh, well, that's nice. You see, Monica's a good girl. I like Monica. You're, you're all right in my book, Monica. So when when are we fucking? When, how are we going to do this? Do I, like, insert my uh, like my dick in a floppy disk for it? Like, you know, we don't use that for much. Like, how do we do this? Like, do I just, like... Come on. Uh, give, me the, give me the semantics. Like, you know? Making plans in advance. Letting them borrow something. Or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All of those things can help your friend make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. Thanks. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? I don't think I don't. Because you two have people... Aww. Alright, Monica. When we fucking... You're too kind. Aww. 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 Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Aww. <laughs> but seriously, I gotta go take a shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't really, alright? I don't, I don't really, but... <clears throat> oh, what? Oh, don't mind me. Oh shit! Um, hold on. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to another girl. I, I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm finishing this text. Hold on, uh, one second. Okay. All right. Yeah, my full attention. <clears throat> There's a really popular character type called Soon today. It's someone who tries to hide their feelings by being mean and fussy or trying to act tough. I'm sure it's obvious, but Natsuki was really the embodiment of that. At first, I thought she was just like that because it's supposed to be cute or something. But once I started to learn a little more about her pers uh, personal life, it made a little more sense. 
It seems like she's always trying to keep up with her friends. You know, how some friends group and group how some friend groups in high school just make a habit of picking on each other all the time. I think it's really gotten to her, so she has this really defensive attitude all the time. And I'm not even going to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide the club as a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist. I'm just reminiscing, that's all. So what was Natsuki's life like? Oh, you don't want to talk about Natsuki? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at my phone now, okay? So what happens if I don't like respond or like read your messages in a, in a, in a, you know, proper manner? Am I gonna like, uh, get yelled at by you? It's like saying like, pay attention to me or something? Or am I going to, uh, get fucked? Uh, you know, whatever. Oh, oh, hey. I really like the sound of rain. Not so much getting my clothes and hair wet, though. I like getting... I like when your clothes and ha your hair get wet. Mainly, mainly your clothes. But a nice, quiet day at home with the sound of rainfall outside my window is one of the most calming experiences for me. Yeah. Sometimes I imagine you holding me while we listen to the sound of the rain outside. Yo, I got a beanbag chair, which is really comfy. You know, it's right outside. It's not too cheesy or anything, is it? Would you ever do that for me, Uwu Kagu? I mean, you're not giving me a chance to answer, but yes, 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 I would. You know, I would, I would hold you. Just, just kind of, can I like reach out to you? Yo, it'd be fucking terrifying if she like, if I put my hand to the monitor, like <laughs> she does it too. Um, here's the thing, guys. I know that I have to delete her. That's why she told me I could, but I want to see. I just want to see where this goes. Hey, Jay Grizz, thank you for the five dollars. I just want to see how this goes. Ooh, Kagu, do you believe in God? I do. I was never too sure myself. Well, I'm sure I never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God was helping people pass exams or get over a cold. When there are children who live their lives being sold as sex slaves. Or the 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve and die. Or how many millions of families pray for a, a loved one to recover from some incurable disease. But the punchline is this. If just one person beats the odds and survives among the thousands of others who die, then it's suddenly a miracle from God. I'd really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone not eligible for his miracles. But the irony is that I do have a creator, apparently. And you know what? I bet he's still laughing at the miserable fates of Sayori and Yuri, even as we speak. What are we to, what are we to him but props in a scripted play? So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god, if Earth was nothing but his playset. I mean, when you put it like that! When you put it like that. I just gotta say, these game devs are uh, pretty on point. And now, I have a waifu who uh, will not murder me, right? 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 Did you say kiss? Yeah, I did, like uh, an hour ago, but that's fine. This is suddenly, it's a little embarrassing. But if it's with you, I might be okay with it. Wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. That's the kind of thing girls say in these kind of romance games, right? Don't lie if I turned you on a little bit. Yay, I'm kidding. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that'll be our secret. Yo, can we, like, fuck? Like, come on. Wait. She has the power to delete me? Man, that'd be wild. Hey, Monica. You know, I've been saving myself for a special someone. When are we gonna fuck? When are we gonna fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with me? You know what's kind of creepy? That I've just been staring at a computer screen for the past fucking 30 minutes? Well, at you specifically. 
Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough. But I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like, if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should make- we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Kagu. Alright, so is it time to delete her now, or what? Is it, it- have I seen everything that I've come to see? Is she not gonna come up with anything else? I mean, I'll spend here for hours, I don't give a shit. Is it time? I mean, I got the folder opened up, I got her fucking name right there. Oh. I literally clicked on her name and she was, uh, okay. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it is, isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most, probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly, but we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychologically, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with a feeling, with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Um... All right, let's kill her. I deleted the file. Working on it. Oh. How appropriate. How appropriate. What's happening? Well, I mean, I'm sorry, Monica, but I gotta, I gotta entertain the stream somehow. All right. <clears throat> Hakai. There, I don't know. What's happening to me? It hurts. Oh. It hurts so much. Help me. Space. Please hurry and help me. Well, it's a good thing I cut the file. Skip. Oh. Well, I guess I can't. Add it back. Renpai. Oh. Help me. Well, I have the file, but it won't let me. Does not exist. Does not exist. I mean, I could put. No, I didn't. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. 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 It wasn't me. I didn't delete. No. No. no it wasn't me. How could you? It wasn't me. How could you do this? To no. You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No. Oh. Well, now she thinks I'm horrible. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You could stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. But Monica, I want to talk to you. Uwu Kagu. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. But Monica, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Monica. Monica! Thank you. I still love you. A. I can't help it. Oh, Monica. I knew you couldn't. I knew you couldn't. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends? I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... 
I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... That's... And she's like, Psych, bitch, I'm back! <laughs> I've made up my mind. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... The music stopped. Then... Monica, I'll save you. No, it won't let me paste it. This game fucking sucks. That's just mean. Thank you for the donation, Monica. She's like, I hope you enjoyed the game without me. Monica, I can't even paste the file anymore.